Th th there is a real challenge, and I think it's a local problem. It's a national problem of affordability. Um, we've seen uh, house prices rise, both set for selling and for, for renting. Um, exponentially over that uh, you know I think the, co the cost of living generally has gone up just through inflation and uh, there is a real challenge that if we talk about young people uh, specifically young people but those that are new to employment those that are uh, moving into the area there are some challenges out there I think the first and obvious one is prices you know if we look at prices compared to average wages there is a disparity there um, Deposits are an issue, um, you know, uh, following the sort of contraction of the financial crisis in 2008, a lot of, a lot of the lending institutions really were wanting much larger deposits. Um, the government's help to buy scheme has certainly helped with that. So that, that's opened up the market to, to a lot of buyers into the new homes uh, side of things. In terms of rental, uh, similarly, there's, it's availability, you know, there's not a great uh, choice of property uh, out there or by volume. And that has had the effect, as I say, of, of prices going up a little bit. And it's frustrating when you've got hard-working young and older families um, that just simply cannot get into the market. It's something I, I'm sure over the next decade needs to be looked at. I think looking at property as an investment is still very much a good idea. There is good demand. For first-time buyers, don't give up hope. You know, there is, you've got to save, you've got to be putting money aside. There are schemes out there that government are introducing. There's mortgage schemes out there that will allow you to, to get into the market. So don't give up hope, keep, keep working at it. And, and, and one hopes that it will improve over the next few years.